All right, I look like hell because <laughs> my life is hell right now. <laughs> I've got no sleep, I'm so tired. But it is moving day to my dad's tiny house. <laughs> oh, not happy Tucker, are we? Who's going meow? Who's the lower one? Uh, that's Meatball. They're all going right now. <laughs> the chorus of meows. Hi, are you guys in sync? <laughs> All right, Janelle and I have packed up the car filled with bunnies now. The cats have gone to Janelle's apartment and we have 10 bunnies in the car. Yep. So we're headed to my dad's and that's where they will be staying with us and Josh over there. They have a storage room that they're gonna stay in that's nice and air conditioned for them. Let it snow, Beautiful day. let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> Well, it doesn't show, show signs of stopping, and I fried some corn for popping. <laughs> Okay, so we're making some decent progress here. The garage still needs to be done, but the inside of the house is pretty much good to go. Janelle and I just got back from my dad's. We dropped the bunnies off. The cats are at her house. It's just chaos. Okay, I have been terrible at vlogging. We just finished up for the day. We have to do the garage tomorrow, but for the most part, we're good. We're headed over to my dad's place now, and we're just so tired. I'm vlogging on my phone right now. This is our tiny house, you guys. I can't even find the camera. We're watching Barcroft. It's an interesting YouTube channel. Josh is gonna sleep up here. And I felt like I was gonna get too claustrophobic actually. So I am gonna sleep down here on this couch which pulls out. It's cool, there's a little bathroom. It's pretty convenient. I mean, I feel a lot better now that we're here and settled and Basically, my dad's house is over here. Josh is in the storage room, and that's where the rabbits are all staying. So it's pretty convenient. It'll work for, you know, the next, I think, 10 days. How long are we here? Like 10 days? What? Are we here a week or 10 days? Like 10 days. It could be 10 days. Come on, baby. Yes, yeah, it sucks. She's not used to having to be in like a container. Yeah, it sucks. But we can't let her free room. There's like way too many things for her to get into in here, clearly. This is so cute. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Peach, seriously? Head on Clyde. And I'm petting him both. Look at them. Oh my gosh. They're just sitting here and being petted together. Look at this. So cute. So Apollo's in here with them just because. I don't trust Arya completely with Apollo yet. I haven't seen her do anything bad to him, but I just, I don't know, it's too nerve wracking. She hasn't had complete, like, unsupervised time with him, and he's just so little. I just, I don't know. I'm sure she would be fine, but you know, we're not taking any risks. So she's in here with the girls. Okay, so I have found the camera. It's the next morning. I feel a lot better after a good night's sleep, and I liked the tiny house. This was a little uncomfortable to sleep on. I might get myself like a little foam topper, because I could kind of feel the bar on my hip. <laughs> So, but honestly, I was just so tired. I was just happy to sleep anywhere at this point. Um, so Josh already went over to the house. He had to meet his brother there to do a few things. And then my dad and me are going to meet them over there. So I just turned on Love Island. I've heard so many people in the UK talking about fucking Love Island. And it came to the US. So I'm giving it a try. I'm watching it here in the tiny house while I make some ramen noodles for lunch. I haven't had ramen noodles in, oh my gosh, so long. But they sounded so good, and it's so easy. <laughs> I always get the chili flavor. Okay, I found the camera. I'm at the house. I'm so sweaty. We've been working all day trying to get this place wrapped up so the new people can move in literally tomorrow. Um, I just did the fridge, cleaned that, cleaned it out, the freezer. I'm doing all the last minute stuff. Josh's brother's here doing some stuff in the garage. Pretty good progress. Are you exhausted yet, Josh? Yeah, every bone in my body is sore. I know, me too. I'm in so much sleep pain. For like a week. Yeah, same. Thank God I slept so good last night, though. I got really good sleep. I went to bed at like 11, which I've been. Yeah. For the past four nights, I've been up till 3 a.m. packing. Or later. Or later, 3:30, 4. But we're, we're almost the, done. We're bringing all this, all the plants, over to my dad's place right now. We had to rent a second truck to bring everything over there. Our yeah. agent put us in the worst situation, you guys. 
Ugh. Yeah, well, a heads up would have been nice, even yeah. like a week or two in advance. Yeah, because they totally knew that this wasn't going to work if out for a while. Work, they fucked up well so good, we bad. We would have planned way better. I would have yeah. had shit packed up like a week ago, like yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. they didn't even tell us there was a slight chance this could happen. No. All right, pretty much got it all. We're loading up the last of the last. Our podcasting equipment is the last thing to get packed up. <laughs> That's the most precious stuff. Yes. Okay. I think now we're really about to leave. God, last moments in this house. I will miss this place. It is a good house. <sighs> All right. So it's 11 o'clock. We're back in the tiny house and I looked down at my hand and I realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring. This, I put another ring on my finger. I don't know what happened. I never take my wedding ring off, not to shower, not for anything. The only thing I can think of is I was so stressed out today, maybe I thought I was taking off this ring and instead took off my wedding ring and packed it, which is what I'm hoping, but I have no idea where it is. I'm so stressed out. This has been the worst Mercury retrograde, even today. Like the storage people or the junk people, when they were supposed to be here, they were late. They like didn't get the memo or something. Like communication is just so fucked. I will never ever move during this time again, but I'm just glad now that we're here, at least we have this space to be in. It was just a really long couple of days. <laughs> and just, it could have been completely avoided if our real estate agent had communicated with us. Hello guys, welcome to our tiny house. Tiny house life has been pretty good so far. What do you think about it? Yeah, it's not too bad actually. It's pretty fun. You could, it's easy to, I mean. We've been switching off where we're sleeping. I've been sleeping up there, or I did last night, and then every night before I've slept over here. The We've been here for four like nights. Perfect for one person. Yeah, for yeah. A couple and dogs. It's, it's a, a little tiny tight. Bit small. There's nowhere for Bernie to sit at night because we both <laughs> sit here, and he's like, "Where do I go? There's nowhere but the floor." But yeah, we're having oh, no, fun. Bad. It, it worked. Yeah, we're just lucky to have it. It's been super convenient, and my dad. Luckily, we didn't even think he was going to be able to let us stay here. Um, they normally rent this out, and I thought it was going to be booked, but they were able to keep it for us, which was nice. Today is Friday. Uh, we are getting into our house Monday night now, which is better than the alternative. It could be even longer, but we are very angry with how long it's taken. It was not supposed to, this was not supposed to happen, but you know, at least we're getting in there. We're going over to the house right now, the new house with our parents. Um, Josh's parents are in town from Washington. They wanted to see the house and my dad hasn't seen it yet. So we're making a little group trip over there now and I still need to put mascara and shit on because I look insane. In little This is the dining room, still staged. We'll be moving all this out of here soon. Living room. Oh, so when we weren't working, we were one of the bars and restaurants down there. Oh, maybe that's, yeah. It's so weird. You do, I do too. And I think it's weird. Yeah, this deck's cool too. We gotta stain it. <gasps> oh my god! Are you serious? Oh my god, that's so depressing and sad and like a bad omen, isn't it? I don't think so. Are you sure? Well, you don't. How would you know? <laughs> Are you the master of the omens? <laughs> I love the master. And the bathtub. It's so awesome. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, we are getting really burnt out of living in the tiny house, to be honest. It's pretty cramped in here. We just have stuff everywhere, and we are tired. We're so ready to get into our place. Today, we are going to a family birthday party on Josh's side of the family, except for my cousin and her boyfriend, John. You guys know them, are joining us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear That's a cool cake. Yeah. Come here, Butch! Hi! Are you doing laps? <laughs> she's pretty quick. She is. Those little bulldog legs, she's pretty quick. Look at her. She loves it. She's like... Pretty. All right, hi. Next day. Um, so, oh my God. Thank gosh we are moving tomorrow because I'm so burned out. 
I come in here just now to see the rabbits and they have just destroyed everything. It's Clyde, it's him! Do, do, do. Dude, Clyde is so do, bad, do, do, you guys. Do. He's he has lived up to being he Clyde. His, room. his name after Bonnie and Clyde, just he like his dad. Like if you pen. haven't seen, he's done with the pen. So anyway, so he jumps. We cover this with sheets because they're not fixed yet. They're babies. But I don't want to even take a chance that she can. They can impregnate one of them or right. her, their mom. So I've separated them. But he busted through during the night. Busted through his sheet, through their sheet. Like ruined everything. So when I came in here, Aria was in there, Clyde was in here. So I don't know what the hell happened last night. Mm -hmm. We have sexual teenagers. What are we gonna do? And this just sucks. I would never even have them in our room. The, the thing that's so frustrating is they're supposed to be in separate rooms. Like back in our last house, oh, we had them in separate out. rooms. They're also gonna be in separate rooms once we move, which is tomorrow, thankfully. But this is like the old, the best we're dealing with, and I'm just hoping that there are no pregnancies. Okay, I can't handle another teen pregnancy. Aria, if you get impregnated by one of your sons, I'm gonna be so disappointed. So she's getting fixed. She was supposed to get fixed like this week, but with everything, everything went to shit, and so we didn't have a good place for her to recover. She'll be getting fixed as soon as she's able to. We are just so burnt out. This whole experience, I mean, I can't tell you how many things have been going wrong. I've been barely vlogging even this week because we've had so much turmoil even in our personal life. Things I'm not even telling you guys about because it's too personal and just stress. So much stress that is not even related to the house. Like, Mercury retrograde has just been insane. Let me know in the comments if you have experienced a rough retrograde because it's been, I've never seen so much shit go wrong. Apollo! At least Apollo's fixed so he can't do any damage. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh. All right, so Arya's having a little hop around the yard. This is our last day here. Bunnies are chilling while we work on getting their little room clean. We have all their mats and stuff drying right now. Hi, baby. Wow. Only I can. <laughs> I know what he needs. Look at Peach. This is so cute. They probably love being out Hi. here. Oh, they do. Aw. Hi, dude. You guys are going to be married. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ooh. I know. Cool. I know. She's Isn't it? Yeah, she's like, all right. Well, she realized that he's so like non dominant Yeah. She's girl, like, can I dominate you? Okay, all right, then we're, you can like be friends. The girls and the boys look so like boys, girls. It's yeah, weird. they look like boys. Yeah, they really do. They, they have like male faces. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, their faces are bigger. Going to the boys now? The gates, yeah, and I'm coming to the boys. <laughs> I need to say hello to all of my like, oh, my nephews yes. and nieces. I know, I wish you could take one. If Annalie didn't live in an apartment, she would totally take one. Oh, immediately. Because she loves animals just as much as me. Yeah, I would take your biggest one. One day when you're yeah. available, I'm sure you'll end up when you have a house like with dogs and cats and we're getting an, maybe uh, a bunny too. We're getting an American Bulldog soon. Really? Yeah. I thought you guys wanted an Anatolian Shepherd. We want an Anatolian Shepherd. They're too big. They're in like the bully. They're very big. So if you, yeah, for your apartment, that's a better idea. Yeah, that's true. The apartment complex won't let you have super certain cute. ones. So wait, a f what kind of Bulldog? An American Bulldog. So oh. they look like pit bulls, but they're like known as like a sweetheart. Yeah. So I've seen those guys. They don't hurt anyone. They're not known as like, we wanted a pit bull, but mm -hmm. it's just hard in Colorado. Mm -hmm. So American Bulldogs look exactly like pit bulls, but they're bigger and they're a lot nicer mm -hmm. just in general. They're like big bears. You can like oh, grab them and rest Yeah, them. I love Bulldogs. I wanted to get a Frenchie when we were in our apartment. We were thinking Frenchie and then we were like, ooh, we should get like a big boy. He so cool is also out. one we're keeping because he's so social and sweet and just like Aria. So we're keeping him and Blaze and then maybe, Mr. maybe Clyde. Mr. Clyde. Well, Where's maybe. Mr. Clyde? No. I, I will, I'm telling you, he's not your ah, You guys, if we end up with five rabbits, it's gonna be his fault, not mine. I found out that a group of bunnies is called a fluffle. So I have a fluffle of bunnies. Oh my god, a fluffle of bunnies. <laughs> They're also smart too. I have yeah. no idea. You can just see like the little mm -hmm. hogs. They have way more them. personality than people give them credit for. It's like they hurt them in like cruel, like trying to yeah. make makeup. She's a meat rabbit. Really? People eat them, yeah. 
You're made to be eaten. People have farms with like multiple Flemish giants to eat. That's not a life. Yeah, no, this it's not a life. life. This is a life. Hi, Clyde. Are we going to keep you? 